think I like the factory rumble this thing has. What's going on my YouTube community? We're here at Independence Harley Davidson and today we're gonna to be doing a review of the 2020 Road King Special. So let's get things started in five, four, three, two. So here in front of me, we have the 2020 Road King Special. The main difference between the Special and the regular Road King is going to be the fact that the Special comes with the 114 engine and the regular Road King comes with the 107. The 114 engine is going to be putting out 123 foot-pounds of torque. Also a big difference is going to be the fact that the Special comes completely blacked out. With the blacked out engine, it also has the blacked out headlight housing, as you can see here. It comes with the stretched bags rather than the standard bags. And it has this very attractive, completely blacked out Prodigy wheel. Both units have mini eight bars, as well as Brembo brakes. Let's cycle through a few of the options we have on this unit, utilizing this button here. Your first option is gonna be your mileage. Then you have your trip A, as well as trip B followed by your remaining fuel to this tank of gas. Then you have your clock. You also have a gear indicator as well as RPMs. And then we'll be right back to the mileage. Let's get a plate on the bike so I can take her for a spin and let you know my first thoughts. So we are here on the Independence Harley Davidson Riding Academy range and we're about to take this baby out for a test ride. That way I can give you all my impressions on what I think of the Road King. I haven't actually done a demo ride of the Road King before and this is the Road King special so I think it should be a little bit more special <laughs> and uh, if it's your first time by the channel and you enjoy content such as reviews of motorcycles riding gear bike nights any motorcycle related content make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this video at the end I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment below I typically respond to everyone's comments within a day or so let's get this baby out on the road I think I like the factory rumble this thing has oh yeah anytime I get on one of these Harleys with that 114 engine it just literally puts a smile on my face so the Roll King is gonna be a part of your touring lineup it's one of the touring bikes that does not have a fairing so it has that open front end where you can feel the wind you can get a breeze or whatnot it just it's just more open i'd say like <laughs> it feels like it connects you more to nature and typically your touring bikes going to be designed and built for comfort and the road king has it there it's definitely a comfortable seating position. You're sitting in an upright position. You have floorboards, as you can see down below, uh, where you're able to adjust your feet for riding comfort. The seat on this unit is tremendously plush. It feels like there's, there's just a lot of cushion in it, and it kind of dips down to cradle you in the seat as well. So it gives you that support for um, holding you in place so you're not gonna slide back and end up on your passenger's lap. The handlebar positioning is very comfortable as far as where my hands are actually placed. 
and you got easy access to all your controls you can cycle through with uh, this button here if you need to cycle through your trip meter or remaining miles to the tank of gas or anything like that what we're going to do right here is uh test the cornering as well as lean angle now with floorboards you typically have a reduced lean angle but we'll see all right it still corners really really well even with the floorboards but i did notice um compared to some of the other harleys i've ridden without floorboards you do lose a little bit of your lean angle there i mean you can still lean it you're just going to scrape your floorboards all right so what we'll do here when i turn is do a quick acceleration test and run through the gears just to see how she feels accelerating all right <laughs> so yeah she definitely has a great acceleration there's no lack in power from when you twist that throttle to when it delivers the power. It's literally immediate and going through the gears is really, really smooth. Now on the road I'm on now, it has a few bumps and imperfections in the road, but I'm not feeling that jarring through my back. The suspension on this bike handles the road very well, but you still feel connected to the road. You still feel like you have full control it's not so much cushion that you can't feel the road but it cushions it just enough to make your ride really comfortable all right we're gonna take this corner here the bike handles really really well especially for being a touring bike. I mean, a lot of touring bikes handle the road, but some of them you can actually feel the weight on. You can still feel the weight of this bike. You know when riding it that it is a heavy bike, but it still feels very maneuverable. You can move it around a little bit. It's, it's just, it's really comfortable. It doesn't feel intimidating to ride. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. The clutch feels very, very firm, as well as um, you get a little bit of feel where you can tell when you're in that friction zone, but the clutch is basically really, really smooth. And that's on a lot of the newer Harleys. The clutch is gonna feel a lot smoother um, where you're not gonna get a ton of that friction zone. As you can see, we have an analog speedometer, which I like on a lot of bikes because you don't have to worry about if your sunlight or something is going to distract or um, mess up your vision from you being able to see the speedometer. This speedometer is just completely visible. Now we're coming up on a few little, I call them baby twisties, um, but we'll be able to test out her road handling. And again, the road here is not the smoothest road, but I'm not feeling too much of the bumps. I know there's a bump there, but it's not really affecting my comfort. Okay. And the bike definitely feels very maneuverable. It's really, really comfortable in all aspects. So overall with this Road King Special, it's very comfortable. It's touring, so you can take it on some long road trips. I don't feel like you, you may feel a little bit fatigued depending on how long your road trip is from the wind because it's open, but you can handle that by putting a windshield on here if you like. But overall, the bike feels really, really comfortable, really maneuverable, and it has enough power and it delivers the power immediately when you twist on your throttle. So as you can see, my camera ended up cutting out on me. I don't know why the GoPro does that, but it cut off right when I was about to do the final thoughts of the bike. I had Daniel pull it out front for me. And as you can see, we are about to get stormed on. So I'm gonna finish the video real quick. So my overall thoughts of the bike is, I like the look of it. I think it has that classic Harley Davidson look. What, what do you think? Man, what, I, love, I love the special, it's just so awesome doesn't have the windshield and stuff on it but blacked out with the 114 
the bars are feel somewhat a little aggressive makes you just want to get on it and ride hard man yep i agree i agree and i like the fact that it does have the bags and it has the stretch bags so you got a little bit more room and it completes the look the way it wraps around the exhaust i like the way it looks like that a little bit better than when there's that space between the exhaust like and that. the bags and you've got the custom look wheels front and rear on here 19 inch front wheel really lightens up the handling of it Again, it's a classic looking Harley, but it's got the aggressive nature of a custom bagger, so it's a really cool motorcycle. Yep, but for you to know if this is going to be the perfect bike for you, I feel like y'all got to come down and take it on a test ride. If you're in the Charlotte area, swing by Independence Harley Davidson. We'd love to get you out on the bike. If you're in another vicinity, stop by your local Harley Davidson dealership and take it for a ride. That's the only way you're going to know if a bike is meant for you is by taking it out. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, and comment below. And I will see you in the next one. Peace, love, stay blessed, and get out there on two wheels. And Daniel's behind me about to make me fall. <laughs> All right, let's get it back in before we. It's about the hurricane. Look, we got the bike in right on time.